I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. So listen, I don't know if there was more you wanted to get to as it relates to this, and I don't know what your schedule is like, and if you want to join us for these other discussions, uh, in, in, in which might be a nice segue from from what you just said about cancel culture. Um, but uh, uh, but and, and Jackie, I don't know if you had any more you wanted to raise with Diedrich on the issue of of uh, economics and labor, or you know, um, but you know, let me know what you yeah. all. No, no. Let, uh, I, I, I can stay at nine, and I would love to hang around a little bit for the fun stuff. So I'll, I'll just I'll hang around for like seven, eight minutes. I won't mess up your seven, fun. Seven, eight minutes. Up. All right. Well, well. All right. Well, <laughs> let, let's do this one then, because actually, dang, that's that. What? I don't know where which one to do. Let, let's let's. Di, di, well, did you want to comment? Because I know Jackie and I were going to revisit Dave Chappelle, and and I know that's a little bit longer than a, 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 a six or seven minute discussion. So I don't know if you wanted to get in on that. I did have no, another yeah. thing that I wanted to raise as well uh, that's happening in pop culture uh, uh, around Sage Steele. Did you see her comments, the ESPN reporter, uh, and her comments about Obama and race and, and mixed race in particular and how, oh, no. did, did you see this? You didn't see all... about, saying something to the effect that he wasn't black or something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check this out. Check oh. this out. Here she is. This is check this out real quick. Just, just this. And they're like, "Why is it so important to you to say that you're biracial?" I'm like, I, as my mom's white, she's Irish Italian, and my dad's black, and I, mm -hmm. I'm like, why, why not? Like, I right. actually like I have the best of both worlds. Barack Obama chose black, and he's biracial. I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I, that's fascinating considering, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma really mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, me. Getting us to talk about this is <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was what I, I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I wanted to play, you know, because I watched the commentary. What, what, where I first saw this, you know, is where, you know, like I said, I keep joking, like um, I keep wanting to be the, uh, uh, I want to be to black uh, uh, liberation or black radical politics what, what Pierre the comedian is to black comedy. And, and he did a commentary on this that, uh, uh, that I actually wanted to play and look at, but since time is a little short for you, Diedrich, at least, I, I wanted to, to, I don't know, any, any first Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know what there is to say about it. I mean, like, like I, do, <laughs> I do find it, I do find it kind of like, uh, like the amount of shade she was throwing, you know, trying to act like she wasn't was like, because I mean, there's the one piece about, you know, identifying as biracial versus identifying as black. Okay, we could have that conversation, but like that wasn't what she was bringing up. She just, like, just it was just like so high school, like, and, and his dad was nowhere to be found. It's right, like, right. Like, well, oh, wow. Okay, well, what what is that about? I don't know why you tried to get personal around President Obama's uh, dad and whether he was present or not. But the whole, it, you know, I would be interested in a different conversation. I mean, in a conversation at some point around this idea of what does it mean to identify as biracial i mean politically like uh mm -hmm. because i mean when i was in college my, my mother's white my father's black when i was in college there was a group called students of mixed heritage right and they were going to have this thing i was like okay cool you know good i'll go in i'll talk about what it's like in my mind i'm talking about what it's like to be black with a white mom right that's what i'm talking mm -hmm. about these other people were like i'm not black i'm not white i'm mixed and then like they had like a white person who was like, well, I'm Irish and I'm German, so I'm of mixed heritage. So I'm, and I was like, this, this is why I'm not here. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, what is this group? Because if you don't want to be, I mean, it's fine. If you don't want to be black, that's fine. That's just, but then that's not the group I want to be with. Like, I'm not, I mean, you know, in different societies have mulatto elites and they can identify like, I'm not black, I'm not white, I'm some, some other thing, you know, what have you. But it, I guess for me, it's always been, if you're not deconstructing, white supremacy and if that's not your focus then i kind of don't really care like i'm not there just to wallow in your personal identity crisis right no matter what it is right like if was, i wouldn't go to a black group that just wants to talk about black identity removed from struggle against white supremacy so i think you know that to me that to me would be the biggest cr critique of because because it was interesting where she went when she said i'm biracial i have the best of both worlds 
instead of looking at well, what does it mean to be if you want to be biracial in a white supremacist society how do you then deal with those ongoing tensions which forget that you know like both my parents were here unlike obama's and i get the best of both worlds so let's go forward so that's just this kind of you know reactionary embracing of white supremacy and usually when you don't want to embrace blackness you usually do want to embrace white supremacy you can call it whatever you want but that's pretty much what you're doing. So that's my two minute take on that woman who I don't even know her name is. But uh, I guess she's you don't Sage Steele. <laughs> she's she's an ESPN analyst, and that's okay. that's where you know she you know and and uh, so one I agree largely with what you said. I just thought that that well, like the, like Pierre in his his commentary on it. One one thing that I definitely agree with, and I think you raise this as well, is that it's an anti black position. It's an it's it's not an exploration of one's identity. It's not an exploration of of you know how of any of, of race and it's it's just her taking a, a a chance to publicly let the world know I don't want nothing to do with them. Like I I want to pull back from blackness as much as possible and, and enjoy. Go ahead, yeah. And to be fair, and there's plenty of black people with both parents who also want to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Oh no, they no, no question. Them, right? yeah. No question. Well, first of all, I mean, the the I first of all, there's so much to say about. Absolutely. First of all, the idea that any sort of reconstructive effort within black identity starts with mixed folks is ridiculous. I mean, the the, the reconstruction effort of 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 black identity has more to do with enslavement, colonialism, white supremacy, etc. Then it's not the existence of, of of mixed folks that created this need for black people to clarify their identity. So, so, so yeah, it's not, it, there's plenty of people looking to walk away from blackness, uh, 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 you know, anyway, but, but it's, 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 and then to your point about the best of both worlds, that line, I've heard that my entire life and, and, and people either assuming that or claiming that, and, and, and I don't have it in front of me, but the, the, uh, scholar, uh, homie Baba, um, I remember reading his, the way he talked about this and I'm not doing him justice, but the point is, it's not that you're the best of both worlds. It's that it's that it's that it's, it, I'll speak for myself. I sit at the nexus of two competing worlds in conflict, like, like this black and white thing, they're in conflict. There is a hostility an unequal, you know, hostility in which I emerge as an individual. Uh, uh, but certainly this idea that you get the best of both worlds and get to enjoy, I mean, is, is absurd. And then again, to credit uh, uh, Jared Sexton and Raylena Joseph and others who put me onto this research, it's 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 the very uh, uh, um, the, the popularity of the very uh, identity of biracial has been attached. It comes largely attached or, or uh, uh, comes largely from white women with black children who don't want those children to be attached as much to those communities. And therefore in the nineties began to popularize this biracial thing, uh, uh, not again, as a way to explore the experience or even an identity, but to say, I, I, I wanted my relationship with this black man, or I want my relationship with this black child, but I don't want them to have a relationship with yeah. the larger yeah. black community. Yeah. And uh, I think it's so, weird that, yeah. that you know, she's saying this about Obama and I don't want people to think we're like defending Barack Obama, who also didn't want anything to do with black people. But right. it just. <laughs> I, I do remember when he was running, everybody's talking about like, you know, he has a white grandfather and like his, I, I remember like talking about like, he didn't go to war, but his, but, but, but his grandfather did. It was, just, it was just such weird things. They would grab on to kind of white history and identify, but I, I, I'll say one more thing and then, then I'll go and let you all talk for real. Um, it's I do think too, there's a difference when me and Jared are around the same age, when our parents got together, there's there was a radicalness for a white person to be with a black person in some way, because it was so outrightly known, like looked down upon that you know, that 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 was making some political statement, even if you weren't trying to. And I think I think my mother at least was trying to make a political statement. You know, I don't you know, but I think more recently you can have people in denial around racial inequality, black and white, and they get together to have their kid and raise them to be in racial denial. Right. And I think that is much more of a change of of, of a lot of black, white, interracial kids as they kind of both everyone's come together around denial when it used to be they'd come together with some type of strong sympathy toward black resistance to white supremacy because they right. had to, because they were being connected in. 
And 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 the, right. thing, and the only thing I'll end on is this is Latino Heritage Month, and I think you know you want to get mixed identity. You know, I think that's mm. really interesting. Like I, it is interesting to me that I think as you look at generations, the Latinos that identify as white, how they do economically. Like once they're once they marry a white person, and then their kid doesn't speak Spanish anymore. You know, like where do they go? And like for black people, that's uh, um. I don't know. It, it, it's it's a little different because your identity goes with you stronger. Um, yeah. But anyway, th those are just some things I think about. I'm talking about mixed identity, and I mix what I like. I, it is, yeah, that's that, what I'm okay, saying. I, Jared, I mix what I like. It's there's puns on top of puns here. At, at at I mix what I like in BPM Black Power Media. So anyway, I mix what I like. What I like. What I like. What I like. What I like.